In this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break, we're going to be trying a beer from Lavery Brewing. Lavery is out of uh, Erie, Pennsylvania. If anyone's watched the other episodes of this on YouTube, they know that we did um, Death or Glory, which was their dark saison a uh, bunch of episodes back. I think it was like the second episode or something like that. So same brewery, uh, totally different beer. This one is called Leopard Awir, or Awar, I don't know. You, can, you probably can't even read it like that. It's in this crazy script. I mean, the the font looks cool, but you can't, it's hard to read. I uh, also don't know what it is. I assume on the bottle it'll explain you know, what, what that means, and I'll read that later. Um, but it's a farmhouse ale, and it's bottle conditioned with Britannomyces. So for anyone who doesn't know what Britannomyces is, it's a microbe that makes beer sour. So a lot of people are doing wild ales, is what they call them, usually using Britannomyces. So gives it, you know, some uh, sourness. Uh, what I'm expecting to get out of this is probably a light sourness, especially because it's kind of a light-bodied beer, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, oh, and it is 4.5% alcohol, so it is low, 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 low on alcohol. So this this would probably be a one that one that you could go pretty fast on, but I'm assuming I'm not going to be able to go all that fast on it because it is sour, and for me, sour beers, I have to go slow because I don't want to overwhelm my palate. You know, you go fast with sour beers, you get a lot of phlegm worked up. I don't really like that. So anyway, as you can see, lots and lots and lots of head on that beer. Very carbonated. If you can see, the bubbles are just flying up from the bottom. Um, like an orangish yellow. Just a tinge of orange, really, to that beer. You can definitely smell that farmhouse yeast. It's very... Very recognizable yeast, and then right after the farmhouse yeast, you're smelling that sourness. There's like a lemon tartness on the finish, but it's not like a very aggressive lemon tartness. It's kind of a little bit subdued toward the ends, end of the scent, like it's a little soft. Um, you're getting banana notes. Definitely getting a bunch of banana notes out of it. So it's mainly farmhouse yeast, banana notes, and like a light lemon sourness. I don't think I can pick anything else out. Let me go ahead and taste this bad boy. Definitely getting, okay, definitely up front I get a little bit of the sourness just hitting my palate, you know, making my taste buds kind of stand at attention. Definitely get that banana flavor and I really, really taste the farmhouse yeast, very recognizable. And then it kind of just like trails off to a tartness that kind of like hits hits hard for a little bit and then just dissipates kind of fast. Um, it's not too aggressive. So really, kind of nice actually. It's like a very straightforward farmhouse type taste with just a little bit of tartness on the finish. So if that sounds good to anyone, that's exactly what it is and um, you should end up liking that beer. I'm assuming it is still pretty cold, so I'm assuming that once it warms up a little bit more, I'll probably start getting that tartness even more at the end, which would be a welcome thing, because that's that's one thing that I really would like. I would like a little bit more tartness to it. Um, on a recent episode, I, we tried Wild Devil by Victory, which is a um, IPA with Britannomyces, and one of the things is when it was colder, I was getting um, the tartness on the end, but as it warmed up, I started getting even more tartness to it. So I'm hoping that's what happens with this one. Uh, let me go ahead and look for any sort of tasting notes on this. Da 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 da. It doesn't say. Mm -mm -mm. It's golden ale, um, brewed with barley, wheat, rye, oats, and corn, and hopped with locally grown hops, fermented with street three strains of yeast, and bottled with Britannomyces. Well, we knew about that one. An old British yeast that adds fruity and tart notes with age. Uh, Leopard Oir, or Oir, I don't know, or, or Gold Leopard is what it means, represents for us the long history of brewers and their close relationship with the land they farmed, loved, and lived. We hope you appreciate the beauty of this fine ale. I, I think it's pretty well crafted. I don't think it's like anything phenomenal, but if you like farmhouse ales with a little bit of tartness to it, 
then it's good. I would say, you know, I had Hill Farmstead uh, Arthur, which is this pretty much the same style. I believe it was a rustic, what they called a rustic farmhouse ale, which was basically a farmhouse ale with some Britannomyces. Um, that was a little more of the tartness that I was looking for, and it was a little like more full-bodied. Um, I prefer that to this, but this is still pretty decent. So hopefully that's been of help to anyone who might be interested in this beer. Draw your own conclusions. Thanks for watching, and stick around for the next one.